Hello, welcome back. Uh, let's see what day it is. Uh, day 53 in creating an iPhone uh, game using Cocos 2D. And I just want to give a little quick update. It's been about a week, so I usually do about a weekly video on where I'm at with the game. I'm nearly uh, done, so we'll just show you some stuff here. I've been working a lot on um, getting some uh, saving times and saving scores per level and stuff like that. And also updating a lot of the graphics. So I'm about 90% through updating the graphics. So I'll show you some of that. So let's go in here. We've got our main screen. And another big thing that's happened is adding some background music. Which I'm probably going to do a tutorial very soon. On how to uh, insert music, background music and effects into your game. So let's go in here. Hit play. And we come to the level screen. So there's 22 levels altogether. What I've done is I've shown um, a gem next to each level, which uh, represents a gem you can find. So you can only find the gem once in each level. Uh, it's sort of hidden. Uh, it's not necessary to complete the level, but it is sort of a bonus hidden item. So if you did happen to find it, it would show up here saying that you found that gem. Uh, but other than that, what would happen is none of these would uh, be here unless you've beaten the level. So if you beat level 1, then level 2 would show up, and so on, all the way through the 22 levels. So, pretty obvious, that's how it's going to be done. Uh, this screen I'm going to still work on a little bit. Uh, what's happening here, we can choose our easy hard time, but also I'm having the fastest time for that particular level. So it's going to keep track of your fastest time and keep on letting you know. Uh, so let's go in. I'm just going to show you two levels here, some of the updated graphics. So, the graphics have been updated. I got the background looking a little nicer. I got the trees and the grass looking a little bit more realistic here. And I've also updated the sprite animation for the player. So that it has, um, right now you can see an orange band and some shoes on him for the powers that he has. If I get hit here, he loses that band because he lost that power. So it's a little bit more visual on what powers you have besides just the color up in the top display. So let's go back here and I'll show you another level. Um, so this one, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but I've added a little bit of a rain effect to it. And with Cocos 2D, it's actually really simple to do. Um, and this also illustrates some of the updated grass and background. So you can see as I go higher, I can see more of the sky and the, and the, the planets. Which uh, sort of goes with the name, Planet 1. That's the type of uh, game it is. So. Other than that, that's what I wanted to show you. So I have updated the graphics. I have updated some of the, the game data for scores and fastest times, and it saves it all. I've updated a little bit of player sprite and added some background music. Alrighty. So tune, keep on tuning in. I'm going to have another tutorial shortly on uh, the sound engine. And uh, hopefully this game will get complete very soon. Okay, talk to you later. Bye.